cock. Pookie. Pookie. A nipple. <laughs> there is nothing dirty or reprehensible about that. All right, so in this video, we're talking about five words that uh, sound terrible, but aren't that bad in HVACR. I guess first off, if you don't know what HVACR is, that's heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Now, some of these words actually apply to other trades like plumbing and general construction as well. So number five on the top five worst sounding phrases, bits of jargon in HVAC. Number five is pookie. Pookie. Uh, when I first heard it, I thought it was definitely a dirty word because we do not use that term in Florida, but it's just a name for mastic or duct sealant. In Florida, we call it mastic. Technically, it's duct sealant It's what, or duct butter is a term that some people use. It's the stuff you smear on the joints in order to seal the joints. Sometimes you'll use it in, in addition to like a fibrous uh, embedment tape. We often call that fab in Florida. It's like a white mesh, almost like uh, if you've ever seen mesh drywall tape, sort of like that, that we embed and then we use the sealant on top of that, or we call it mastic in Florida, but some people call it pookie. Seems to be a Western thing. There was actually a brand of duct sealant called pookie for a while, and now there is a tool that's designed to take screws that have been sealed over with mastic to remove them, and that is called pookie buster by Midwest. Actually, a really good tool. I have a couple of them. So the phrase pookie lives on, even though I've completely banned it from Kalos. Number four on the list, and this is another term I don't use, but some people call refrigeration reefer, such as reefer tech. So if you're a refrigeration tech, they'll call you a reefer tech. And some people call a refrigerant leak detector a reefer sniffer. And I imagine reefer isn't spelled R-E-E-F-E-R. -E -E it's actually spelled R-E-F-E-R because that could mean something different if it was two E's. But that's just a refrigerant leak detector. Now, either a stationary leak detector like is used often in, in like grocery store applications or the mobile leak detectors like the good old H10 Pro or H10G that I've used for so many years from Bacharach. Fieldpiece also makes some really great ones. Testo makes good leak detector as well. There's a lot of good leak detectors out there, but that's often called a sniffer, and it's called that because it actually draws in a sample, it tests a sample of air for refrigerant in it. But reefer sniffer sounds like it might mean something else. Again, not a word that I use. Number three on our list is a word that almost everybody uses in the trade at one time or another, and that word is a nipple. <laughs> and uh, that one's a bit on the nose, and it probably is named what it's named because of what it looks like, but it's really generally a male-to-male -male fitting or stuff stub has male-to-male -male connections on it, but it can just be a stub with a male threaded connection. And yes, male and female fittings are exactly what they sound like from the conversation that you had with your parents, hopefully about the birds and the bees, which I still don't get what that has to do with birds and bees because... It... So the term nipple is often used for brass, copper, steel, other metal fittings that have a segment of pipe or tubing and then a male threaded connection, at least on one end, but often they'll call it a nipple when it has male threaded connections on both. Both ends. The next one that I have just recently been made aware of, number two on our list of the worst sounding pieces of jargon in HVACR, I was made aware of by Kevin Compass. And I had heard the term before, but I really had no idea what it was, so I never really thought about it. But he was talking about hoarfrost within a freezer case. Hoarfrost. And I asked him how it was spelled. He didn't know. It is not spelled the way you might think. It is actually spelled H-O-A-R. Frost. I'm not really sure exactly what that H-O-A-R means, but hoarfrost specifically is that crystalline frost that you'll see, you know, maybe on a, on a fence, maybe on the trees uh, up north where you have, om it almost looks like snow, but it's actually frost. It's very crystalline and shiny. It's actually very beautiful frost if you see it in an evergreen forest, something like that. Um, but that is called hoarfrost. So when you see that frost, that crystalline frost build up within a case, it is appropriate to call it hoarfrost and there is nothing dirty or reprehensible about that. And number one on our list is the cock or the gas cock. And uh, <laughs> I definitely feel dirty even saying that, but a gas cock is simply a common type of shutoff valve that you will see. It's a, generally a ball type valve. And so you can call a ball valve that's used to shut off gas um, is called a gas cock. And I imagine you could call any type of ball valve of that same sort a cock, but gas cock is what I typically hear. And it is the real name for it, and it is appropriate to use it, although I would be careful with using it around mixed company. So, though I don't suggest you uh, saying these words always, uh, number one, gas cock, gas Gas shutoff valve, hoar frost, crystalline frost that uh, you see outside sometimes, but you can also see in refrigeration applications. A nipple is a male threaded connector. A reefer sniffer is a refrigerant leak detector. And pookie is duct sealant or mastic. So there you have it. Maybe you learned something. You probably didn't, but that is my top five list. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.